all right y'all i'm back with another video about a, a budget option turkey gun it's a stevens 301 turkey it comes with a uh, extra full turkey choke in it and ready for a red dot if you want and i think they, some models do come with a red dot but i had to buy mine I bought just a 30 dollar tasco red dot from walmart and it seems to be working really good uh, i noticed they went a lot of videos going over some of the specs on this gun a lot of the videos on youtube are about the 410 model which is a really good budget friendly and gun to shoot i guess you'd say but uh, i didn't want the 410 i wanted the 20 gauge i got this for my kids to use and i'll probably use it some this year myself because i ain't been able to find 12 gauge turkey loads under 50 dollars a box and um I got lucky, has a had looked at Walmart over and over numerous times, but I was able to pick up a box of uh, 20 gauge long beards at Bass Pro. Then the next week when I come back from my little vacation, Walmart had a box. So I've got a couple boxes of them, was able to pick up some target loads of sight red dot in with. And I did upgrade the choke just a little bit. Well, it's an upgrade or a downgrade, depending on what you're shooting. But uh, the choke it comes with, it's an extra full. It don't say what constriction of them. So I measured it, and it's a 580 constriction. So I bought an Undertaker choke, same place I bought the gun. And it's a 575, but it's lead only. The choke it comes with these guns. You can shoot lead, tungsten, steel, whatever from everything I can gather on it. But there's a lot of videos on the Stevens 301 410. I just wanted to do a 20 gauge video. And I will post another video of this gun pattern and stuff like that with the long beards. I did sight it in and shoot it. And I know it shoots really good. Wouldn't be a bit afraid to shoot a turkey out to 40 yards or so with it. But, uh,. And that's about all I can think of. You know, it's two and three quarter, three inch chamber. Comes with a raised bead side. You know, and then the rail. The neat thing about it is, if you want to tell, I don't know if I can show it on here or not. But if you red dot was to die, or you forget to cut it on, and a turkey's coming in on you, you can still see your bead underneath the red dot. The way they designed that mount. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I paid a little much for it. Before the pandemic and all the gun buying was going on, you could get this gun for $170 to $200, and it cost me about $250 out the door. But that's with an aftermarket choke tube, so that ain't too bad. But uh, I will post a video of me shooting this gun. Uh... Hopefully within the next few days, I'm going to take my little girl out, be her first year turkey hunting, and we'll let her shoot it some, and then we'll try to get some patterns out of the setup. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a fan of the Undertaker Chokes by H.S. Strutt, so I had to buy one. And oddly enough, he had the dang choke hanging under the gun. It looked like it had been hanging there a while, and I just... Had to jump on it when I got the opportunity. But I got the gun and the choke for two fifty, and throwed a $30 red dot on it. And you can see the price on them long beards from Bass Pro are $20.99. And these were 15 at Walmart. And another thing, myth bust something for you, or at least in my case, I've had people tell me that the long beards from a name brand store like Bass Pro, Dick's, Sportsman's Warehouse, shot better than the ones from walmart because they were like i don't know they call them like factory seconds or something well i shot both of them and they both performed well and maybe the walmart one performed a little better could have just been the shot side you know just a little more powder in one or something but they both done great couldn't complain to either one of them so i think that's probably a myth i just don't see winchester or any other gun company having factory circuits or something on ammo it's, that seems a little too dangerous but uh 
I'm gonna do a quick video about this gun. Uh, it's really light, fun to shoot, no recoil even with the turkey loads. It's unbelievable, especially have a single barrel break action shotgun. But uh, I'll try to post a video of uh, us shooting it and get the pattern for all you guys. And uh, again, appreciate you.